This recording will introduce the definition of scalar product. For the introduction, two very useful quantities involving vectors are the scalar product and the vector product. The work done by a force in displacing an object is given by a scalar product. The force exerted on a charged particle moving through a magnetic field is given by a vector product. What is a scalar product of vectors? The, the scalar product or dot product of two vectors A and B denoted by A dot B is defined as A dot B equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B cosine theta, where theta is the angle between A and B. And here is the illustration. I have vector A. I have a vector B and the angle between A and B is denoted by theta. So the dot product or the scalar product of A and B is the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B cosine of the angle between A and B. Note that A dot B is a scalar not a vector and we always take the angle between 0 and pi that means that between 0 and 180 degree let's look at some properties of scalar product first the scalar product is commutative that means a dot b and b dot a are equal. We should expect this because a dot b we know is the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b cosine theta where the theta is the angle between a and b. And if you do b dot a will be the length of b magnitude of a followed by cosine theta, where the theta is the angle between B and A, which is the same as the angle between A and B. Next, multiplication by scalar. If M is a scalar, that means a number, then M times A dot B is the same as M A dot B is the same as A dot M times B. Third property is this, the scalar product is distributive over addition. That means A dot B plus C is the same as A dot B plus A dot C, just like what you do for addition and multiplication for number. The fourth property is a very important property regarding vectors. It say that if A dot B is equal to zero, then a and B are perpendicular to each other. On the other hand, if A and B are perpendicular to each other, then A dot B is equal to zero. Why is that so? Look at the diagram here. I have two vectors A and B perpendicular to each other. Then A dot B will be the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times cosine 90. But we know cosine 90 is zero. That is why A dot B is equal to zero.